Hi everybody, my name is Catherine and this is my very first video on this channel. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make this polymer clay hamburger and this was inspired by two different um, other polymer clay YouTubers which is Sugar Charm Shop and Tony Ellison. So let's get started. First you're going to want to take some tan clay and I'm using Ecru by Primo. Next you want to start molding that into a sphere. And after you have done that, you want to lay it on your surface that you are working on and slightly flatten the top of it. Next, using a blade, you're going to want to cut it in half and the bottom half will be the bottom of the hamburger bun and the top will be the top of the hamburger bun. So you want it to be a good thickness for the top and the bottom. Next, you're going to want to lay both of those halves out and make sure that the, that the bottom hamburger bun is laying face down. Using a toothbrush, you can start texturing them. Next, you want to bring out your chalk pastels, and for the first shading, I will be using this dark yellow color. Now you can just apply the chalk pastel using a paintbrush. And you want to make sure that you cover all of the top and bottom hamburger buns with the chalk pastel, except for the face of the bottom hamburger bun. Next, I will be applying a rust red color and a brown color. And you can add these colors at the same time, or you can do the red first and the brown second. And you don't want to cake this on as much as you did with the dark yellow color. Just add it to the edges and the bottom of the bottom hamburger bun and the top of the top hamburger bun. Next, I will be using my blade to lift the hamburger buns off of the mat. You can use a blade so that you don't squish them when you're trying to pull them off, so it's very helpful. Next, I will be texturing the bottom hamburger bun with the needle tool, and you want to do this to the inside of it. And this is to look like breadcrumbs on the inside of the bun. For the hamburger patty, I will be using the Sculpey clay in the color chocolate. And I will just take a little piece off of this, roll it into a ball, slightly flatten it, and then I'm going to be using some tin foil to texture it. Next, I will be shading it with some black pastel, and you can use brown too if you'd like. And as usual, I'll be using my blade to lift it off of the mat. To create the cheese, I'll be using some yellow clay from my yellow scrap bag, and I'm just using a normal, just yellow color, not too dark and not too light. Next, I will be rolling that out, and I will measure it a little bit using the hamburger patty, and I will cut it with my blade. To create the lettuce, I'll just be using some green clay from my green scrap bag. And what you want to do to create the lettuce is you want to roll it out into a nice thickness and then use a ball tool to texture it. And I did get this idea from Tony Ellison. And you want to use the end of the ball tool to tear off pieces. To create the ketchup, I'll be using some Fimo Deco Gel and I'll just squirt that onto a piece of paper. And to create the color in it, I will be using some chalk pastel. I will just be using various shades of red. And I will just scrape that into the Fimo Deco Gel. And to create mustard, all you have to do is just, just scrape in some yellow chalk pastel instead of red. And mix that all together until it is fully combined. This is optional, but I will be adding some tomatoes and some pickles using some canes that I made from various tutorials on YouTube and I will just be slicing some slices of those using my X-Acto knife. Now it is time to construct the hamburgers, so you can use the ketchup mixture to make everything stick together, and you may want to resize the cheese as I did, and you can just add those all on top just using the ketchup and try and make the ketchup show a little bit on the outside so it looks really realistic. And then add the top hamburger bun. Then 
This is optional, but I will be adding sesame seeds to my hamburger bun. So first you want to squirt some Fimo Deco gel onto your fingers and rub two of your fingers together. Then dab that on top of the hamburger bun. This helps the sesame seeds stick to the hamburger bun. To create the actual sesame seeds, you can take some tan clay. I am just using the same tan clay I used for the hamburger buns. Put that on your rolling pin and roll that out to a nice thickness. Then using your X-Acto knife, cut out a little sesame seed shape. And you might want to round out the corners and just smooth it out a little bit using your fingers and then just stick it on. It's really easy and you just keep do making more and more until you have enough. Once you are done with your hamburger, you can put it on a piece of tin foil, and I put mine on a glass pan also for extra support. And then you want to put it into a preheated oven that is set to 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Once the hamburger is completely cooled, you can apply some glaze using a paintbrush. And once the glaze is dried, you are done. I really hope you have a fun time making your own hamburger. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody!